What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Rapper YNW Melly was caught on camera dancing just hours after his friends was killed and everybody's still in denial about this case. Everybody's still defending him. Everybody's making excuses. They're saying all type of crazy things to defend this man. YNW Melly is not guilty. That's just his way of grieving. Hey, yo, cut. Just because you dancing just hours after your friends died doesn't mean you're guilty. In what world do we live in? There's a such thing called optics. There's a such thing called, this just don't look right. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this just don't look right. Cause I'm gonna use logic. YNW Melly say he witnessed his two friends get killed. So why is there a video of you dancing at a video shoot just hours after? And don't tell me that's his way of grieving. Don't say everybody grieved different. Cause let's apply it to real life. Let's use logic. When an ordinary person lose a loved one, what is the first thing we do? The first thing we do, we call our job and say, hey man, I ain't coming. I'm taking a week off. My mama died. Or we call our job, hey man, I'm taking three days off. I need my grievance paid. Granny just died. See, we grieving, right? So we take off work. So I'm looking at YNW Melly. You couldn't do that for your two best friends? If you witness a double murder, you couldn't cancel the video shoot. Cause I'm pretty sure it's a traumatic experience. I'm pretty sure you got PTSD. So you tell me two of your friends died and you witness it and I see video of you dancing, humping dry air. I'm looking at you suspect. I'm looking at you funny. For example, let's apply in real life again. If your co-worker shows up to work and say, hey man, it was a wreck on I-35 and my whole family died. We're going to be thinking to ourselves, nigga, why is you at work? Nigga, take your week off and grieve. We're going to look at him like he weird. We're going to call home. Hey, man, my co-worker lost his family last night. And that nigga showed up to work to work. What's wrong with that dude, man? He might be he might be behind it. That's how we going to view it. Let's just be real about it, y'all. So I'm looking at YNW Melly. Everybody making excuses for him. Everybody talking about he's just grieving. Who the hell grieve a couple hours later? When something like that happened, you're still in shock. The last thing that should be on your mind is turning up. I'm just being real with you guys. So YNW Melly is finished. YNW Melly deserve life. He don't want to, he don't deserve to get out, throw away the key, lock him up. I'm just being honest. That's how I'm looking at this situation. Now you guys might look at it different. And I'm going to tell you guys another stupid thing YNW Melly did. He committed the murders with his cell phone nearby and even used his cell phone at the crime scene. Now how stupid can you be? Because if I'm YNW Melly, if I know I'm finna take out my two best friends, the first thing I'ma do is leave my cell phone at home. And the reason I'ma do that is because there ain't no paper trail near me. I don't want the tent to be able to ping it off towers. I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's. Now, I'm not trying to tell you guys how to get away with murder. I'm not trying to tell you guys how to get away with any crimes. But if you gonna do the double murder, if you gonna take out your two best friends, you gotta make sure your game is tight. YNW Melly was sloppy, his story makes no sense, and to be honest, he don't really have a defense. His defense is, y'all say I did it, prove it without reasonable doubt. That's his defense. If somebody really innocent in a murder case, I need to know why. I need you to yell, shout, scream, I, I was this place, I was here, I would do that type of stuff, but you just saying, if y'all think I did it, y'all gotta prove it without reasonable doubt. What type of defense is that? That's kind of like you accusing your girl of cheating and her response is, then prove it. It just walks away. We like, wait, wait, hold on. I need you to plead to me while you're innocent. I need you to plead to me while you're not cheating on me. You just can't say prove it and walk off and think I'm going to be happy with it. Thinking I'm going to be satisfied as your man. What type of stuff is that? Do y'all agree with me or not? Y'all feel me on that, fellas? Am I right or wrong? If you accuse your girl of cheating and her response is prove it, then she just casually walks off start cooking i'm pissed off i'm mad as hell now she might be totally right she might not never cheated on me she might be innocent but i didn't like that response that's how i feel about melly everybody accusing you of double murder and you ain't yelling screaming your defense is just saying if y'all think my client did it then it's on y'all to prove it no more questions i'm not satisfied with that so melly looks all the way crazy this is a crazy case I think he's going to get found guilty. I think a lot of people going to be mad. I think a lot of people going to be upset. But let's be real about this whole situation. If YNW Melly did this, he need to be in jail. And the only reason why people don't want to see him in jail because they like that music. 
They like that murder on my mind. I don't like that song. If you make a song like that, shit, to me, you might just do it. That's how I feel about it. You got murder on your mind, you might just murder two people. That's how I feel about it. If you like that song, you can't even be cool with me. You got issues, you go around singing that. Who the hell will listen to that every morning? That's how I feel about that whole song, so man. And last but not least, let's talk about the video in question. Hours after his friends died, he pulled up to a music video shoot and was just dancing, smiling, dapping everybody up, walking around like a celebrity. He didn't look like a man that just lost two of his best friends. And I'm gonna play the video for you guys and y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Let's go. Melly's still current regardless of what happened this early morning. He's still out here being very positive. Pause it. Now, do that look like a man who just went through a traumatic experience? Do that look like a man who just lost a loved one? Hell no. He ain't sad enough. He ain't distraught enough for me. He makes me very uncomfortable. If somebody just lose two of their best friends and I see you hours later and you dance and you turned up, nigga, I'm scared. Like, damn, this dude just lost two friends and he turned up like that? So I'm looking at him suspect because think about it. I look at it like this. I witnessed my best friend get his ass whooped at the club. He was arguing with a dude, dude whooped his ass, broke his jaw, and I witnessed that, and I called off work the next day. Just to be rude with you, nigga. I just seen that ass whoop. I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna go, call, I ain't gonna go to work the next day. So how is he at a video shoot? Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all feel my drive? My best friend is living. He's well now. But seeing him get his ass whooped, I said, you know what? I gotta take off work. And he had a video shoot after seeing his two best friends die. That makes no sense. But let's continue. Still. Hey. <laughs> the jury is in after seeing that video he's guilty he's done stick a fork in him it's over and you still got some people saying he ain't guilty he's just grieving he ain't guilty they just lying on Melly. they trying to keep a young brother down Melly is making things worse. The way he's looking at court, smiling, laughing, blowing kisses, thinking it's a game, everybody cracking jokes. Do you know this man is fighting for his life? Do you know people is betting on the odds that he beat this case? And right now it's not looking too good. The overall favor is that he's gonna get found guilty. And I don't wanna hear nobody rioting in the street. I don't wanna hear these rappers talking about, man, they did the young Melly wrong. Because it's looking like they got all the evidence against them. Now, I know what you guys going to say. They don't have the weapon. All they got is circumstantial evidence. That's all you need to convict somebody of murder. All they need to do is prove that YNW Melly was on the scene at the time of the murder. That's all they got to prove. If they can prove he was on the scene at the time of the murder, it's over with. That's enough evidence to convict them. I watched First 48. I see it all the time. They going to have the murder weapon. They don't have much evidence, but they can prove he was at the scene. They got him on video. It's over with. That's all he needs. So I think Melly gonna be found guilty. But I wonder how you guys feel about it. Do you think he'll be found innocent or do you think he'll be found guilty? And what would you guys like to see happen with this case? Let me know in the comment section. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.